to the second by second. So this fight could be the main event, you know, but I'm happy to be on the card with Israel Adesanya, Yoel Romero, like with the other athletes. We have, we have so many athletes here and on this card, we have City for Eight. We're going to blow up the team of Arena on Saturday. Johanna, how important is uh, social media to professional athlete, branding, marketing? <laughs> It's important and it's it's not important, you know. I, I use my social media to uh, to motivate people, to show them who I am outside the octagon. Because very often people don't wanna learn about me as in humans, Joanna. They think I'm I'm violent person, you know. I'm bully person. No, it's a business. It's fighting work. I go there and I fight. There is this sports aggression, you know. But outside, I'm helping like many kids with uh, with uh, cancer charity. I wanna show to people what I use to bring my weight down, how to be in shape, uh, what I like, what movies I like. And so that's the thing. You know, I keep the focus because I know how to manage the time. Some of the people they like to go home and do nothing. You know, doesn't matter if you're an athlete or someone else. You know, I like to go home and work. You know, I graduated two different uh, studies eight years ago. I started new studies October last year. You know, I'm about to uh, apply for MBA in two years. So I do many things outside the octagon and like people are go go rest. I'm not this person. I don't like to sleep. You know, lion don't sleep on sheep. This is how we say. <laughs> doesn't sh the lion doesn't sh lay sleep? Down. Uh, yeah, what? Lay down. Does, yeah, lion does, lay down doesn't lie down with the sheep. That's the thing, you know. And and I I'm always working. I even like don't sleep because my brain is always working. You know, that's the that's the that's the thing. So people can complain that they see me active on social media. For me, it's such a natural natural. You know, they're just jealous that I'm getting all these numbers. 1.6 million. It wasn't easy, you know, because I started my Instagram 10 years ago and I was putting on hell over work. You know. Now it comes very naturally, you know, but I like to do it. I'm, I'm not fake, I'm real. I don't put like filters, uh, I don't uh, promote stuff I don't like. You know? Right. But it's very import important. I'm very happy that sport got very commercial because if not the, if not uh, sponsors and private companies, I would not be here because I would not make it. Right. Paige Van, Zandt said, uh, Paige Van Zandt said that she makes, you know, six figures, five figures for yeah. one post. Do you, I mean, you have a lot of followers. Is that, is that the yeah, case? Yeah, I'm not that focused, you know, and so yeah. uh, ev everything I post on my Instagram are the things I really like. I test, I taste these things and I use these things. So I'm not focused. I'm making money different way, you know. Right. I'm a million dollar, dollar baby and after this fight, my stocks will go up, you know. <laughs> so I do not care. Instagram is just for fun and I'm not focused on this one. I'm not making money on, 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 on Instagram. I make I make some money, but I, it's not crazy because I'm not focused. Uh, but yeah, UFC was life changing for me, you know. But I put on a hell of work in the sport where I'm do you think that um, after it, more people came warm to you after you lost and after you had yes. sort of said yes after I lost people saw a human in me you know they they haven't seen only the monster and and this is what I like about they saw that the best can fall but I picked the gloves and I'm here I'm the challenger two years later I'm the challenger the pretender for the UFC throw away bet again and I put on hell of a work you know and I will uh, do my best uh, to win this fight on Saturday and the added pressure when I mean Jang came in as a bit of an unknown in beating yeah. Jessica. Is it is it more pressure now that that, that sense of surprise isn't that's, there? That's with a her? good thing of being challenger and pretender. I was there. I made it. I defended the belt five times. I was the champ for 966 days. Uh, she's uh, going to have her face slightly different. And the thing is that you know she surprised the world. But we're fighting for the best organization in the world, top five, top ten, the best athletes from all from all of the world. So you can expect everything, and you know that, that's the thing. I'm impressed. She's my next big challenge. She's the champ. She surprised the world, but she hasn't she hasn't faced someone like me. How much thought do you put into your walkout song? Uh, Pretty much the same song many, every time. Many, yeah. No, no different, different songs. Last time it was uh, uh, James Arthur, very talented artist from England. It was Back from the Edge, before it was Shallow Lady Gaga, before it was Revolution and, 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 and different songs. But uh, this time it's a different song as well. And every song uh, reminds me of someone, you know, someone important. Of, reminds me uh, some uh, like uh, good moments of my life, good or bad moments in my life. And it's always very personal. So yeah, it's a, that's a good song, I can tell you. But that's a good song. So it's a surprise that tomorrow. Yeah, I think you're gonna Saturday. you're gonna have a goosebump uh, bumps like uh, people had uh, a goosebumps uh, in Toronto after hearing me walking to shallow Lady Gaga song. Mm -hmm. So is it someone in your life that it reminds you of, or just someone in someone in someone general? Someone who like 
I don't know, maybe it's a big support, just the lyrics. Uh, it's always part of my life, you know. It's always part of my Music is a big part of sport, you know. Yeah. And how do you how do you decide which song is right uh, for actually, that particular Actually, last week, walkout? I decided like a few days ago, and like okay. even two weeks ago, I told my best friend, like, oh, I don't have a workout song, and Heidi texted me, JJ is the same song as last time. I'm like, oh, honestly, I'm still thinking. And, yeah. and, and my friend told me, like, wait, be calm. It's gonna come. And it came, you yeah. know, and I have it. Uh, would winning the title this time mean more to you? Uh, yes, yes, it will, means the world to me, you know, it will, it will cement my, my legacy, it will cement my legacy, and this one victory is going to be bigger than all of my uh, victories from the UFC and Muay Thai, from back in the day. You wanna, if you win, is there a rematch gonna be in place? Uh, I don't know, rematch with who, Willy Zhang, who uh, doesn't make it to the first title defense? No. Uh, you know, you, you need to be very dominant champion to 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 get the rematch, you know, or put on really close fight. But you know, like Max Holloway deserved a rematch. This fight was 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 good, and he was the champ for a long time. Same was uh, with Tyron Woodley or Ronda Rousey or or uh, another athlete. You know, you have to be very dominant. You know, if you if you can keep the belt, if you can defend it once, come on, good more. You, know? you uh, yes, you have uh, the mindset of, uh, you know, you're a challenger now, but you, you seem to carry yourself like you feel that you are the, the champion. Is that... Is Always that class act, you say. This is how we say? Yeah. Class act. And I know who I am. And, you know, I don't want to listen to all of these doubts, you know, people who doubting me, you know. I know who I am. And I'm living my life, you know. And I'm, I'm not jealous, you know. This is a good advice I got. That's a good advice I got from my best friend. Don't be never jealous of anything or and anybody, you know. That's the thing. And don't expect from people, you know. Better to be nicely surprised than 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 than, than said that they haven't done something for you. you know? I'm not sure if you know, um, but there's the IMAF tournament in Australia at the moment. Um, one of my friends, Magdalena Szczesban, yeah. on the Polish team. I was just wondering if you had any words of support for the team while they're out there. Uh, of who? Uh, the Polish team. Polish team of what? In IMAF. Uh, the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, it's an amateur. Yeah, amateur, of course. I, I Fingers crossed for the Polish team the, uh, competing at the amateur MMA uh, competition. I wish you uh, lots of luck. Guys, go for it. Have fun. I just spoke to Wei Li Zhang and she said that she'll finish you in the third round. What, what do you, what's your response to that? She said that the, the third round? I heard yesterday that she was going to knock me out in the first round. So what the heck is going on with you, girl? <laughs> Pick your shit. <laughs> How do you I will make you. I mean, may, I will make you quit, and mark my words. You were you, you were in a really good mindset. You talked about the mindset that you're in. 